What's up, Red Eye? It's Michael Pena from End of Watch, and uh, I invite you to, guys to see my movie, and it opens September 21st. How was the uh, Q&A screening last night? Awesome, dude. My brother was in the audience, and I'm like, I asked, I said, uh, hey, man, can you do me a favor? Uh, I'm, I'm inviting you and your your wife, you know, to the screening, and then, you know, right before the screening, he's like, Mike, I need, uh, I need 12 tickets, Mike. <laughs> I'm like, what's up, dude? What's up, buddy? And, uh, you know, that's how it is when you invite family. It's like you tell one person, and then, you know, they tell him. He's like, what? So, but it was fun, though. Um, the crowd reaction was really good. It seems like the cops really seemed to like it. And it, it was it was awesome when, when cops actually tell you, he's like, you know, finally somebody got it right, you know. Do they have any questions for you or, like, how you were able to get to that point? Or? Yeah, they, you know, they, they, I think they could sense it, but we had, like, five months of training. Like, right. literally, like, just... You know, five months of just uh, nonstop. Like it was like five days a week. It's almost like a full time job. You know, like I had to work out like five days a week and then tr like spar three days a week. And we had weapons training. Um, you know, like four hours, four six, four to six hours or whatever, two two days a week. And then uh, you know, ride alongs at night. So I mean, it was it was pretty brutal, dude. But some of them would start like at I don't know, 10 p.m. or something. Go to 6 a.m. and you're like. You see where, like, all the madness right. know, really happens. Like, a couple of the ride-alongs, you know, like, I actually saw some really heavy-duty stuff. You know, there was, like, people that were shot in the face and in the arms and, like, dispute and, like, bloody mess over here, bloody mess over there, bodies laying down. Um, what was going through your head at that point when you see someone shot in the face? Um, at that point, it was three months of ride along so it's, like, not too much. But when I first got there, I was like, "Man, it's not, it's not good, man. I'm not good, you know." I was like, <laughs> and it was, uh, and it was kind of, it was, it was, it was a lot to deal with at first, because we had, you know, bulletproof vests on, and then like, like a sheriff's department jacket, and then, you know, I always had a hat and glasses, and Jake always had a hat, and like, there's nobody that recognizes really. Of course, remind me what uh, or. Neighborhood you grew up in in Chicago. I grew up. I don't even know if it's Pilsen, but I heard that it's Pilsen, but it's 16th in California. Okay. How well, aware were you of that time of? I'm not sure, like how much violence was going on at that time there, or just the situation. I don't know how much you've heard about what's going on in the city lately. Um, cops, gangs. Not a good time for violence in Chicago. Why is that? What do you mean? Uh, homicide rate is up like 37 percent or something like that over last year. Oh, is there a war or something going on between gangs? There's just a lot of bad stuff going on all the time. Yeah, what, I mean, what happened with us? It was like 16th in California, and I'm like, I, I, dude, I remember I had my first bike for half an hour. You know what I mean? I got beat up and it got taken away. Like, and it was pretty brutal. I'm wow. Like, so I'm like, how I'm old were you? 13, or something like that. And uh, it, no, 10. I was 10 years old. And the thing was, is that like it's. I think half of the people that live there are actually alive. So, I mean, it was pretty brutal, but like, it depends whether or not like there's a major um, war in between gangs. And then, you know, and it's, it's kind of a weird effect. You know, one person shoots one, you know, one guy, then they retaliate, and they retaliate, retaliate, and it just goes back and forth like ping pong. And the, you know, the police have to try to stop it as best they can. Right, so how long did you wait until you got a, another bike? It took a did I think oh my god I think my dad bought me a uh, me, uh, built me a bike, really because we like you know it was like a huffy, um, BMX bike, you know which were like super awesome at the time, and uh, and you know we couldn't afford it very much that was like my my birthday present, and then um, I, I think he like. Put, yeah, he got like the body of a bike, which wasn't even really like a bike. It was like a motorcycle, so heavy, dude. And then he built the fork, like welded some things and actually built the fork. So I'm uh -oh. like, and I'm like, it's uh, it was so hard. The wheels were, were small, and uh, and it was <laughs> like I never got made fun of though. And no one stole it. No one, nobody wanted to steal it. <laughs> I can literally leave it like with a bow, and they're like, man, I gotta steal that. <laughs> It's like, cause who's gonna sell it, dude? It's like, you know, with the welding and stuff, dude, nobody can sell. It. How do the, how do the cops treat you the first time you guys arrived? What was their first reaction to you for the ride-alongs? It was funny, especially when you're with like a huge star, like you know, Jake Gyllenhaal. It was kind of funny, like everybody was like, Jake, 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 you know, what's up? And then as soon as we went on patrol, they were like, Yeah, yeah, yeah man, hold up a sec. 
and they were like, you know, policing. But the way that they did it was was really interesting because they were really cool. They were super cool cops. You know, they were like, um, they were sheriffs. And uh, I think one of the turning points also in like how we're gonna how we're gonna play this movie is like there was a lot of nonverbal communication. And uh, you know, there was one time where we pull over this, the, these guys, and usually they tell us to come with. They're like, "Stay back a little bit." I was like, "Well, what the fuck's going on?" And then we saw them look, you know, uh, over the hood, like. And then they acted even cooler. Hey, man, what's up? Like, you don't have to put your hands on the steering wheel. What's up, man? How you doing? And then they acted m even cooler than that. Uh, and I was like. To, to make almost the gangsters think that they were going to get away with something, he's like, ah, I just want to check out. Can you guys get out of this? Yeah, cool, man, thanks. Yeah, you guys do. Yeah. Sorry, man, I got to do this. And then put them in the back, and then they found two guns. How yeah. did you react physically when you saw some of the stuff? Like, when someone's getting shot, you know, obviously you're there trying to kind of play it cool, but yeah. was there a moment where you, like, jumped or...? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I'm like, especially the first day of shooting, there was, like, they, you know, they did their gang signs. Like, get out of here, man. And, you know... We weren't shooting sound stages, man. That's for sure. We were shooting like the thick of it, and they were beeping and they're trying to, you know, get us out. And then there was like a, a loud pop, and all of us, including the, you know, the, the real policeman, went for our weapons. And I was like, I got a fake weapon. I'm like, what am I gonna do? It's so, like you heard that happening offset. You mean? Yeah, it was literally like, <clears throat> you know, like someone we getting like, shot around the corner for real. Yeah, yeah, but it was exhaust from a station wagon, and it was a little old lady. You know what I mean? Driving like, oh. All right, man. But they probably they wouldn't do it because we have security on. They, we have police officers on there. But the reaction that I got was it was an interesting wave of, of, of emotions. I think uh, at first you um, you feel apprehensive and you know fear, um, and then you get in the thick of it, and then actually get into some boredom. You know because you, like this is your tenth one, and you're like. Okay, yeah, more right. of the same stuff, more of the same stuff. And then what kicked in was that it actually started becoming really fun. Um, and that's when, uh, you know, I think Jake had, I'm not speaking of Jake, but I'm, I feel like I am, um, I can, is that you actually get uh, um, wanting good calls, you know what I mean, if, you, if, you, if, if that's in your personality. And that's what kind of guys these are, you know, they are. You want a good call. You want you. It's called the cold three. It's when lights and sirens go on. That's when everybody goes to the scene, and and you want it. And it's it's really funny because you're like, oh, oh what is it? What is it? Is it gang shooting? Blah blah blah. Is it, okay, cool, cool, cool. Stay in the car outside. Can we go up there? And then we were checking things out. And Jake was really good. He actually found, you know, we were walking, you know, by looking for suspects or whatever. And then he's like, you know, that there's five guys in that car right there. They literally pulled over in in a you know alley, turned off the light, and literally you know everything was dark and they were hidden by the by the boards, you know trying not to be seen. So if somebody flashes the light, they won't see. And there was a bunch of drugs in the car, and and it was pretty brutal. And then Did we, you ever spot some of the officers didn't see? And you're like, hey, psst. oh, for I know sure. <laughs> I know we're just riding along here, but all the time, they just want eyes. You know what I mean? They just want they just want to get into the good stuff. Um, and it was, and and then we found out like that there's this new kind of other criminal. There was like pimps and shit, like it, it really weird. Like they, you know, they're t they're tatted with like money signs and like you know anything to do with like diamonds and stuff because they're just after the money. And um, and what they do is like they'll follow somebody and like, uh, you know, take their correspondence, do whatever it is, and then literally wipe out their bank account. So. It, Wow. But, uh, you know, those guys, like, are also, sl like, slash pimps because they have a lot of money. And so they they protect their women. Uh, I know that it seems like you and Jake really bonded uh, from going through this experience together. How much would you recommend that any friends that are just hanging out are like, hey, let's, let's take our bond to the next level. Let's go on a ride along. Dude, that would actually be, that would, like, you mean to be romantic? Yeah, kind of like a... Like a bromance. Yeah. To be like, yo, bro, you want to take it to the next level? Would you die for me, bro? Yeah, exactly. That would be something like Will Ferrell would say. You want to take it to the next level? <laughs> if you want to be romantic, if you want this bromance to take it to the next level, let's go on a ride along. Let's do it, bro. 
You know? Seems like a good idea, right? <laughs> That's an epic idea, dude. What was? <laughs> you, you should, like, I think family members should do that. Because me and my brother were, like, literally fought all the time, dude. Like, physically, like, even everything. I bet you if we see, you saw the world the way it really is, and we woke up to it, we're like, okay, we need to calm down. I mean, even though we lived in a bad neighborhood, the thing is, is, like, when you live in a bad neighborhood, you run away from trouble. You know what I mean? You all run away from the cops. And in this instance, they are the cops, and they run towards the trouble. Mm -hmm. So it's actually gnarlier than you think it is. Now that you know how real cops behave, what's the most ridiculous thing you remember seeing uh, in movies or TV as an impression of how cops act? Oh my god, dude. The one thing, um, and you see it in TV shows all the effing time, dude. We were trained that when you shoot, like you have to talk, you know, I mean, to the intended target because, and you'll see this, dude, on like on any TV show, they're like, dude, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna happen, and then they actually put the muzzle towards like somebody else, you know, and because your head turns and so does the gun, right? And like, dude, I swear to God, and like they're doing this, to me. <laughs> and I was like, wow, there's no technical advisor that'd be like, dude, you're pointing the gun at your partner. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. And how many times you see yeah that and you're like now I'm gonna notice that every time and all you're gonna notice that every time but that that I found out irks irks cops. They're like, oh great. You mentioned uh, the kind of YouTube aspect or feeling of the movie. What besides for uh, like Kimbo Slice type stuff, any other YouTube clips that you've been guilty of watching and rewatching? Yeah. Um, God, there's so many dude. But there's one that's a prank call. Uh, it's called Onage. Have you seen that no. one? It's he literally like uh, was screwed so many times, but like by I guess some uh, I don't know what it, what the backstory, but he was like he prank calls like you know Chinese restaurants, and he's like the hello. He's like yeah. He's like I, I need to speak to somebody who speak to Chinese, and and he's like yeah. What do you want? He's like the shit, baby. <laughs> it's in here big boy and I'm, I'm like whoa and it goes on for like seven minutes that one's really hilarious uh, the one where the dude like the, like a, um, the, I think he's like on, on LSD or something and he's a lizard it's like look at this big balloon guy big balloon hands you, know, you haven't seen that? I haven't epicness <laughs> um, that one uh, I watched chess videos from King Crusher King's Crusher, like he's, I play chess, and uh, he gives like the best tutorials, hmm. especially to go to sleep. <laughs> and then there's one of the Honey Badger. Yeah. See Look, that. there's the Honey Badger running in slow motion. Thanks a lot, stupid. <laughs> you know. <laughs>